Welcome back everybody to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host T, how are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm gonna be covering the three new products that Elon Musk has just released through Tesla. Now the first is one that we've known about for a while and that is the Tesla bot. And the other two are the robo taxi and the minivan, which again, we really haven't known about. Now the minivan and the Tesla taxi or like the robo taxi, they are both self-driving and I find this all very convenient and very suspicious that these new products are ready to go right around the time of the election. I have told you guys time and time again, and even Elon told you himself, there is an agenda for people to not have jobs, okay? People wonder why the job market is so bad and why they can't find a job. It's because in the near future, there will be no jobs for humans to work or there will be very, very few. And so most people will be out of work. Now, what I believe is that the Tesla bot is here to not only replace you and get you out of your job, but it's really a bridge to get people into Neuralink because let's talk about it. We know that Elon Musk is still working in the background on Neuralink, which is the brain chip. And so if the bot is here and you're not working because now we have, you know, robots that do everything. Okay, so what's gonna happen to you? You're not gonna be making any money. You're not gonna have a sense of purpose. You're just gonna be here. And so what's gonna happen is that'll be the perfect time to release universal basic income in which you get a check to just live. But the thing is, you're not gonna get a check just to live. You will still have to do something. And the way that they're gonna market it is, just take the chip. Doesn't this story sound familiar? Okay, this is why we're seeing the economy crash. This is why we're seeing, you know, this country enter, enter into late capitalism because now is a time where they're gonna destroy this system and get ready to release the next. We've known that digital currency is on the way. And with the release of the Tesla bot, that should tell you that it's a lot faster than, it's coming a lot faster than they're telling you. Just like I've been saying for the longest time, AI is developing a lot faster than the people are telling you. AI is being used a lot more than the people are telling you. AI is looking at your resumes. AI is scheduling your interviews. AI is doing everything now because there is a agenda to get humans out of the workforce. I think we know that by now. And so between AI and now the bots, there is a real like war being waged upon the human race. So you're gonna take the chip like they want you to. All currency will be digital and controlled. They're already working on 15 minute smart cities. And then now there's a Tesla bot. And it makes me think of the movie Swan Song where um, that film was about, um, that film was about cloning and, and the movie Swan Song, they had like self-driving public transportation. They had, um, self-driving cars. They had, you know, wait, robot waiters on the train. And it also makes me think, of course, of Black Mirror, particularly the episode called 15 Million Merits, where we set in the future and the people do not have jobs. They live in like this, you know, um, they live in like these boxes where they're surrounded by screens and all they really do all day is like work out. And I heard that they're in like jail actually, but all they do is work out and they work out in exchange for merits or money, which is showing again, a form of like, you give up energy to get money. And that's kind of the same system that we're in now where people can go to work in exchange for money, but the money that they were receiving was digital currency. And again, they were locked away. They couldn't really go anywhere. And they just had to like, you know, use money to like um, skip past internet ads all day. So you guys, the future doesn't look too hot. Next year, it's gonna be rough. If you think it's hard to find a job now, it's only gonna get harder. You know, I think it's very obvious that a certain administration has been lying about um, the number of jobs and how many are available and all that other stuff. You know, it's all inflated and they have to inflate it, especially right now, because they need you to still be bought into the system. They need you to still have faith and have hope 
in politics, the government, and again, the current system that you're so used to, but we know that it's crumbling around us. Last but not least, before I get into the TikToks that I'm gonna show you guys, of course, this reminds us of iRobot, in which in the end, the robots turned rogue against humanity because they were created to do so. They're here to replace us, okay? AI is here to replace us, and it's only a matter of time before things go sour. Let's get into the TikToks about this new Tesla bot. I swear, ain't nobody on TikTok connecting dots like I am. Elon, you thought you was gonna get away from me like that? I already told everyone what you was gonna do. Here, let me show you again. Elon, what is this? Y'all remember that guy that was on TikTok that came out trying to expose that they were getting ready to do this? They were working the crap out of him at the Tesla, the, uh, Tesla facility? He obviously wasn't lying. This right here is crazy. Well, all right now, don't go nowhere. This shit about to get interesting. If you follow me, you remember I showed you this. And I told you. It's his turn. He's up next. And I also told you, I've ran the Gematria on all of them already. Who else on here connecting these kind of dots? I've already showed you all what was going to happen for the future before it happens. And if you follow me, tell me I'm wrong. And here's one for you that you got to watch out for. Whenever you start to hear about that one, just know that that's on the way and that's on the way. And what they call them, walkers? Ain't that what they used to call them back in? Never mind. But fundamentally at scale, the Optimus robot, you should be able to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Something that anyone could own. Um, so you can have your own personal R2D. The new CyberCab. CyberCab looks amazing. I know. I'm trying to get a ride. Dude, me too. Elon. <laughs> Optimus can talk? Yeah. He also does sign language. Yeah. Yes. Can you give a peace Am sign, Optimus? Can you do the peace sign? There he is. That's I got sick. another one. There you go. Oh. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Can you give a hell yeah, Optimus? Tesla just announced their Robo Taxi, their Robo Van, and gave updates on Tesla Bot. So the Robo Taxi is coming out in 2026 or maybe 2027. Elon says it will be under 30,000 around there. It's not going to have a steering wheel. It's not going to have accelerator pedals. It's going to be full self driving, unsupervised. Side note, he says FSD unsupervised is coming to California and Texas next year in 2025. They also talked about the robo van, which is just a giant autonomous people mover. Like it reminds me of just like a tram at the airport or like Disney or something, but there's no driver. And Elon gave updates on Optimus. He basically said all of the data that's used to create a self-driving car all of that learning can just go into Tesla bot and Tesla bot looks really good. It's very smooth, very realistic. He said Tesla bot will be cheaper than a car around 20 to $30,000 after they ramp up production. He'll say everybody's going to want one because they're just going to do everything for you. I also wanted to add in some decos that I've been putting together over the last few months. 
I find it really interesting that Elon has his Tesla bots and cowboy hats because of course he's moved here to Texas and I've noticed a lot of Western programming in the media. Um, Beyonce has her Cowboy Carter album and even when she was promoting Renaissance, we saw her in the disco cowboy hat. Um, she was also doing like a Western theme campaign for Ivy Park. And then we have TV shows like Westworld that again is like a Western um, style show that talks about robots and is extremely futuristic. And then on shows like um, The Leftovers, that's also uh, featured on HBO, the main characters in that show left New York and they found refuge in Texas. And they moved to this town in Texas in which nobody was taken by like this rapture event that is um, the premise of the show that kind of like shook up all the characters. So I find that really interesting and then also on the Purge um, franchise, there's also a film called The Forever Purge where again, the people um, are kind of like out west and I think a lot of them end up in Texas and the United States is split up and um, of course it's The Purge so nothing but pure debauchery ensues. Now I also want to add in Kim Kardashian and New World Order programming because I find it really interesting also that the Tesla bot's face looks like the Balenciaga mask that was released like a collection or two ago in which they had Kim Kardashian who was like their big brand ambassador walking around in and the mask is very alien-esque. It has like this again futuristic like alien style look. And of course, I have photos in here of Kim Kardashian, you know, sporting it around. But I just, again, find that mm, not a coincidence because I've been telling y'all for the longest that fashion programming is real. And these fashion houses are corporations or are run by corporations, just depending on how big the fashion house is. But many of them fall under um, a conglomerate. Balenciaga follows, uh, falls under Caring and almost everybody falls under LVMH. And so again, Caring, LVMH, these are the big corporations that pay the celebrities to push their agendas and push their branding and their messaging and all of that. So again, seeing her in this Balenciaga mask and then seeing the Tesla bot that kind of looks just like it, it's like, hmm, okay, see, they've been preparing us through, again, psychological subliminal programming all along on what is going to happen. So again, you guys, just some further stuff that I have in this video. Let's talk in the comments. Give me your opinion on everything. And again, um, I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.